Hello there, this is Dave Allen for Good and Geeky and today we're going to have a look at creating menus using a dictionary. In the last menu we used the standard shortcuts menu creation tool and we also created our menu from a text file. And as well as making use of the icon generator we're also going to make some icons out of emojis which is a new thing in the latest Toolbox Pro. So first of all let's get our dictionary up there. Dictionary, uh, here it goes, put it in there. Now the first items we're going to add will be the titles of the menus and what we're going to do with that is we're going to add a new item and it's going to be a dictionary because we want things to be in below each of those items. So dictionary in our dictionary item and the key is going to be the title and for this I'll just give it a silly name of uh, Bruce and then I'll do another one and it's also going to be a dictionary because it's another title which is going to do two for the moment and they'll call this one Fred. You'll call this like something to do with whatever you're making your menu for so it could be a menu sort of take photograph with selfie camera so it could be a note saying take a note using dictation or take a note specifically go to agenda so it could be various things that you're going to put your titles in there which is relevant to what you're putting in uh, your menu for so let's add some items to this and first one we're going to add a text item so tap on text there and the key is going to be sub for subtitle and the text is just going to be hello or hello 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 something like that and then we'll add another one it's going to be text item again this one's going to be icon and this is going to be the name of the icon that's going to be used in the icon generator when we're using the icon generator okay so in this one here we're going to put in the word phone and then on the next one we're going for text again and we're going to specify what the color is going to be for our icon and uh, we can put various colors in this and this one here we're going to use a yellow so let me just do a copy of that so i can get it and in here paste it in so that's going to be a yellow color and then add another item so text again this one's going to be the background color so put big k in there and we're going to do a color black. I think black is um, hash and zero, 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 zero. Okay, four, zero, six, zero should do that. Okay. And also, because I'm going to show you how to use emojis of this here, we're going to add another item as well. You're going to use one or the other. Are you going to use the icon plus those two colors, or you're going to use this um, next one, which is for emojis. So we're going to use EM. And then we're going to put in an emoji in there. So let's just get the emojis up on the screen there and choose an emoji. And we'll go for a nice party sort of thing. So we'll click on done. So I say if you're using the emojis, then you won't need to have the um, the icon one. But if you're using the icon one, you won't need to have the emoji one. Just go whichever one there that you need, okay? So do the same here for Fred. Add a new item, it's going to be text and put these in the same order as you did the other one as well okay so first in the order is sub so that's our dictionary sorted out now we have to work out what, how we're going to get stuff from that dictionary so first of all we want to do a repeat with so repeat with each that's the first thing to put in there and it's going to come in from the dictionary so what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to rename it I'm going to rename it keys and another thing you have to do with this here is um, let's see keys set as dictionary um, get keys okay so we've changed that down this uh, action area at the bottom here so click on done once you've got that there done okay so now we need to go to some scripting let's go to scripting I think it's that one okay so let's just make some changes with this here first of all we need to get rid of that so get value for uh, choose repeat item from the bottom there and this one here is going to be select magic variable and keys now then next thing to do is to create our menu items okay so let's go back on this one here okay so create menu item so drag and drop this one in here you'll find this in the toolbox pro so I'll delete that and it's got to go repeat item repeat item goes in there and we want to have a subtitle in there as well so we want to get a dictionary value tap on that one there change this to dictionary dictionary goes in there and get value for key 
and in this case we want to have the sub this is where we say what we want in there so that is correct now this will just if we leave that there with movie it's just going to give us the same movie icon for each of the menus and we don't want that we want something different okay so the way that we change this instead of using default icons we change from default icons to icon generator okay so now it says star circle in there we don't want to have star circle in for each of those there we want to have whatever it says in the menu so let's change this to dic dictionary value now i know how to do it so tap on dictionary value in the action change it from that to dictionary value dictionary get a value for key and in this one it's going to be icon all right click on done so as you can see now we're using the icon generator and the icon color is set in here that gives us all the icon colors all the same but we want to use what we put into the dictionary so we have to delete that and delete that as well so the icon color and the background color get rid of both of those for the moment and we're going to put in there the icon color we want so we need to have a dictionary value tap on dictionary value in the uh, action itself change that there from that to dictionary and then get value for key and in this case we want to have the color click on OK then for the background color we want to get to dictionary value again and tap on it in the action change it to dictionary value this is where it's going to bring us back and change dictionary there get a value for key and in this case it's BK which is what we set as the key for our background color so we have a dictionary value in there again tap on that there change that to dictionary value dictionary and get value for key and this one I want icon in there all right so icon is going to go into field one as well and then in field two I want to have a repeat index so that's just going to tell us what uh, index number of the menu that we were using okay so that's how you set it up if you want to use the icon generator now what we can do with this here is we can change this to uh, show us other stuff here so let's change it from icon generator to emoji and it crashed let's not worry about that because it crashed okay because when we open it back up again and go down to where we was doing our shortcut click on those the little uh, roundy bit with the three dots inside and we've opened it back up again and now it's it's uh, ready set for using emojis so on this one here we don't have the same emoji each time so what we do is going to use the dictionary value tap on dictionary value in the action change it to dictionary on here and dictionary and we want to get value for key and on this one here it's em for emoji all right so that's uh, done correctly um, change the background opacity to full opacity if you want the color to show behind it and then the background color this one here we want to get rid of this here because that's going to give us the same background color on each which is fine if that's what you want but we want to use the background color which is coming from the dictionary so we're going to do dictionary value tap on dictionary value in the action change it to dictionary change that to dictionary and get a value for key which in this case is bk again so click on done so we can change between each of these there and use whichever one we want so i've got it set for emojis at the moment and that'll give us the emojis i'll show how it all works in a minute when we, when we do when we actually get the menus up and running but for the moment let's just uh, show you that you can change so you get uh, change from emoji to icon generator and all the stuff that we put in there before is back as it was so you can see you can change if you want to change your mind at any time uh, as to which one you use then you can do it still at that stage so the next thing we want to do is we want to do a variable thing so let's um, get a variable action and we want to add to variable so I'm going to drop this in here um, before the end repeat and uh, add menu item and this is an important part of the job here you've got to change this here where it says as file and change that to contact otherwise the menus are not going to show okay so click done on that there and so it says add menu item to variable name and we're just going to write menu okay okay this is what's wrong here repeat item so we're going to change this, this to repeat item and so delete that and then put in repeat item that's where I made a mistake and now we've got our menus look and the menus are using the icon generator 
uh, got our uh, title of the uh, menu there choose something that's our prompt and then we can choose each one of these here and it gives us whatever we've chosen in the, this bottom bit here let's change that from the icon generator to the emojis and as you can see it works quite nicely in fact it works better because for some reason or other in this version of uh, toolbox pro the icons are coming in too big and they're not fitting in with that little round circle there so for the moment you might be better off using emojis rather than the icon generator and as you can see for bruce there we've got the uh, the party symbol from the emojis and we've got the skull and crossbones as we said that we wanted in the dictionary okay so that's all working nice there so that's how you do menus and let's uh, say if you want to um, start doing something with those menus then you have to start putting in some if statements underneath that there okay so get many details from chosen item that's good that's what we want to do i'm going to put that into a text action so let's go back here and go to uh, favorites and put a text thing in there so now we start putting in that text stuff okay so uh, title is the first thing we want to have in there and we're going to go to menu item detail and you want the title and then another line now we can start putting the if statement in there so let's put a if statement in there so if text condition um, contains so let's uh, let's try that we'll put in if it can text can hello okay if it contains hello we'll get it to do something all right so let's just go back in here we'll get it to do a notification uh, show notification got to put this one in here okay so the text contains hello it's going to show hello world do this now so Bruce and as you can see at the top there it's showing us our hello world notification we can have it do more on this one here as well we're supposed to play a sound there as well we can also give it a title okay so this is just a notification that you put in after some other things have happened after this choice has been made in the menu and then for the other otherwise i could get it to run something from my uh, uh home apps winterfell is the name of the home and i could get it to control something in uh, in there so let's just go to control this one here and make sure we put it in the right place it's gotta go in after otherwise and I'm going to set scenes or whatever else. So, for instance, I could tell it to turn off the lights in the kitchen. All right. I can tell it to turn on the office lights. Let's put office lights. Um, we'll not use that one. Um, office lights. Get it to turn the office lights on or off. Click on next. And turn the lights on. Clever stuff, this, you know. And click on done. So if I'm going to press this now here, so press play on this here. This time if I choose Fred and I want some peace and love, lo and behold, my office lights have just turned on. How about that then? So that's how you set up your menus using a dictionary. It wasn't that difficult. And there's just a few things you have to make sure about. So for this one here, this menu item, you have to make sure that's set as contact. If you don't set that as contact and its uh, default is as a uh, file, then it's not going to work. So make sure you change that to contact and you'll be you'll be winning. So uh, in the next one, I might have a look at something else to do with menus or I might look at something else to do with Toolbox Pro. But in the meantime, have some fun with menus and get doing some stuff. Have a play with it and work it out. You might be scratching your head for a little bit here and there, but it's worth it in the end. Believe me.